Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hi, you guys. Hope you're having a good day. It is a rainy day here. Mr. Odin, my uh, Viking. Not such a Viking dog. Uh, Odin, the god of Vikings, is not too uh, courageous in the rain. Yeah, so he's uh, freaking out a bit. So yeah, it's really coming down. Summer showers are wonderful here around here. Very green and plush. I'm enjoying that, but not so much the dog. Okie dokie, carrying on. American Riviera in trouble. Yes, they're in trouble. Uh, Megan has lost 2,000 subs off her IG, but then we know a lot of that was fake and IG's cleaning that up. Um, yeah, people on X are saying, why is she the only one surprised by it tanking? And that she's at huge risk right now. There, that's the spin on the news is, oh, it's a huge risk. I think it's not a risk. It's already in the dump, okay? It's already in the dumpster. Um, people are saying she's too lazy and she needs a billionaire, quote unquote. These are comments off of, uh, off of X that I'm getting. She's at a point uh, where anything and everything she does will be unfairly criticized, said another. Another person said, she likes to launch things to compete with the royal family. Yeah, we all know that. She's, everyone says that. That's nothing new. Yeah, a lot of people. Everyone has recognized that, and that's the problem. She's simply clueless and doesn't recognize what everyone else recognizes. Um, people all, another person said, what business? Everything tanks. Another person said, it's time to rebrand. And that's what she does. She rebrands, rebrands, rebrands. Um, and then they're asking me, well, you know, why is it that she does that? Um, and my comment was, it's just typically her brain structure and she will always seek to make herself right and everybody wrong. Uh, and then they believe their own BS. Uh, they have a way of twisting and contorting, uh, realities to fit whatever they deem desirable. They will, it's like the war of innocence with narcissism. And it's part of that black and white thinking, the shifting of I'm good, you're bad, or everything's good, or it's all bad. It's one or all it's not, there's no balance. And, you know, it is the war of innocence and she will always make her brain the innocent one and you're the horrible one. And then someone said to me, well, will she ever find, will she ever, what makes them look at it or will she ever? And my answer is, I've said this before, so I'm just going to reiterate it for those that are new. Uh, mortification, mortification and narc collapse is what makes them take a little uh, peek inside their own brain and go, ah, there's a problem here. Uh, and that is through through the mental collapse, mental breakdown. Uh, and that is where the true self, which resides underneath the false self, sort of kind of like um, starts to see the daylight, in essence. And they start to face it somewhat. But it's fleeting. And they then go back to, once they see that, they get triggered. Oh God, I can't see that. That can't be me. I, I refuse to look at it. So then they, they split and they got to find a way to be innocent again. And so they go into psychosis and psychosis is what actually keeps them alive. It keeps them from unaliving themselves. And that's where they get back to raising up their ego and finding a way as to why they're good and they're perfect and everyone else is imperfect and all of that. So anyways, there's that. So that was my answer to that. Um, also, the dark web. Um, I got a question off of X. Someone believes, uh, there was an inbox, uh, that the dark web that's rumored, it is rumored that on the dark web, that the Sussex squad or whomever she has on her side, uh, or actually her, herself, and probably Marcus Anderson, because since Marcus Anderson's with her all the time, uh, apparently going on the hunt on the dark web, for Catherine's medical records so that they can release it. Yeah, so I said, yeah, I'll do that. So that's what this spreads about today is to do um, the dark web. Uh, is it true? Is it true? Are they going to? And if they are, will they? I don't personally, I don't see how they could succeed. You're not dealing with the normal family. We're dealing with the royal family. Uh, personally, I think they're so guarded and so protected. I think if there was anything that came out, they already would have been on it. Let's put it that way. That's what they can do. I think they're capable of, of doing that. So I don't see how it could be. But I, I could see them being stupid enough based off all their other behavior, thinking that they could take over the royal family, thinking they could be king and queen and all that. I wouldn't be surprised if they were hunting and, and making attempts. 
and then probably if they can't find something, then they'll probably make something up and then believe their own BS because that's just the way they roll, right? So uh, I personally don't see how, but I think it'd be just fun anyways, just to um, see what the cards have to say. Are they digging in? I guess probably the best question is, are they actually digging the dark web? Seriously don't think they can do anything with it. Are they digging in the deep web? Is Megan digging deep in the deep web? Is she searching the deep web? Well, that wanted out. <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> there we go. It wanted out, so here it is, you guys. Uh, Three of Swords, yeah, we wanna, we wanna triangulate, cause a lot of pain and suffering of other people. We wanna cause heartache and suffering and grief. Yeah, absolutely, she does. It's also the divorce card because she is in the, probably gonna face divorce. Uh, they're never gonna work out, we know that. So yeah, to break their hearts, cause more pain. And yeah, she loves to, she, she is that dark triad personality. She loves to hurt other people. She enjoys it. That three of swords is, I don't care if I hurt you and I want to make you cry. I want to make you cry. I want to make a worst case scenario for you uh, with the nine of swords and basically cause rumination, negative emotions, suffering and misery. Yeah, she would love to, but more than likely she's running into a case where she's unable to, where it's an ongoing issue of her just wanting to cause pain and suffering. However, uh, this rumination and doomed mindset isn't probably panning out for her. More than likely that's actually, but she would love to do it. She would absolutely love to cause suffering, lots and lots of suffering. Yeah, she wants to make her suffer because she's suffering. Megan's suffering. I want I want an ongoing issue of suffering. Uh, the Nine of Cups in reverse is because she's a failure. And it is a failure. So it's a no position subconsciously. She would like the wish to come true. She'd like to find it. But it's not happening. So it's a no. I want to cause misery because I'm miserable. So misery wants company, right? That's what it is. There's no in insight with misery. Her, her dreams of getting what she wants came to a crashing, screeching halt. She can't get what she wants. Her wishes are not coming true. So yeah, if I can make her suffer like me, then I want misery wants company. And it has been an ongoing issue. And it's also a way for her to get that sadistic pleasures because she's basically a sadist. That's like sadistic pleasures. All three of those cards is sadistic pleasures, but it's not going to happen. So yes, I would say yes, but she's not going to be able to make it happen. It's a failure. Nine of Cups in Reverse is, is coming to a negative conclusion. So yes, I want to, but it's not happening. So yes and no. Challenging position. Challenging position with the deep web and finding what they want and being able to use it publicly. Try and make it happen. Manifesting it. Yeah manifesting it and, and using it and being able to feel like they have power and being able to act it out and being able to use this forced action. It's a forced action and being able to guide other people into, Hey, look what we found. I found, look what I happened to have found. I manifested this. Woo. Look at this. Will people even believe it? And it's like now, but boy, she really wants to. That is, yeah, she definitely is trying everything. Because that, that magician could be pretty quite dark, too. That could be a liar, too. Focal point. She's trying to stay stay balanced. And she's hoping that divine intervention will help her get there. Maybe I'll get really lucky. It's like, okay, maybe I'll get lucky with this. Maybe I will get lucky, but nope. Sorry, hon. Then I got these two sitting here. I will take it. She's studying it. That is the study, the student card of the page of Pentacles. And then she could put out the good news. That would be her good news. Bad news for everyone else. But for Megan, based on these dark cards here and this, and hoping for divine intervention that she can actually study and, and dig in and be and be loyal to finding it, because this is totally like someone investigating. This would be like a student investigating. So she's learning. Megan and Harry are trying to learn about the dark web. Here they talk about the web and how what a problem it is. This is where it's so ironic. Uh, it's okay for them, but not for everyone else because uh, the internet's toxic and what they, what can happen to other people. But yet yeah, here they are wanting to do it. Here, yep, yeah, doing it together. Yep, we're hoping to do it. Uh, she would like to cause pain and suffering to William and Catherine. Uh, she wants to basically, because they're too balanced and happy. And so she's learning it so she could take them down and make, make their wishes come true in reverse, cause misery and suffering. Past position that doesn't serve is they don't want her. That's the problem. She's been rejected. She's been rejected and she's the bad seed and that doesn't serve her that she's the bad seed. Plus, she's not making money. 
her her business is falling she can't get she's not getting she's not getting asked to come back no one's begging her hey come on back we need you we really need you as a working royal we'll give you what you want you know whatever you want because it's it's a money focused card whatever you want we're willing to pay you to come back and work together to create balance and we'll we'll work with you you can keep working but she's not getting her dream come true so she's a bad seed and that doesn't serve her it's a letdown disappointment no she she even if she found it she can't use it she can't use it is it not going to happen so no feelings in the situation feelings in the situation yeah she's been let down by the dark web it's been a disappointment she can't find the information she wants and it's an ace in reverse so she cannot spark anything with what she doesn't have which means she would have to go into uh she would have to go into basically faking it it would have to be fake news so if she did do something it would be artificial it wouldn't be accurate and she would be willing to pretend that it was accurate that's that's how dark she is she would do it but then people would say, hey, wait a minute, that's not right. Wait a minute, that's not right. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm, really? I don't know. They're pretty balanced here. I don't think you can. <clears throat> Feelings in the situation. Feelings in the situation for the dark web. Feelings in the situation for the dark web. Yeah, it's a judge, jury, executioner position. She doesn't care if it's the truth or not. Yeah, they go figure. Uh, yeah, they have no strong regard for the truth. And it's also basically not, uh, she can get legal problems too, because this is a legal card with the, uh, King of Swords in reverse. So basically they don't have, they don't care about, it. they'll, they'll lie if it serves them. They will lie too. Back to her lying again about the Royal family. She will lie. She will do anything for a good lie. She doesn't care. It's very strategic. It's very dark. It's very negative, in a very negative sense, calculated to the worst degree. It's basically a scam artist, a liar. It's very corrupt, cruelness, arrogance, but it's also the executioner. And um, basically, it's not fair, and it certainly wouldn't be the truth. So whatever it is, it's low standards, lie, 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 uh, negative leadership. I would say that basic, that's a no position. Upright King of Swords is maybe. Maybe because he's a pretty dark person still. He's, he doesn't have any emotions, no empathy. But here, it's really bad, so that would be a no. I would say no. That's, that's cutting out. Sorry, it's not going to... It won't work for you. You won't get what you want from this. I know you'd like to, but it's not looking good for you. So, no. So, a lot of no's on the table here. But she is learning about the dark web with that page of swords. She's trying to gather whatever she can. I think she's finding it interesting. She's probably finding more stuff on herself than anybody else. <laughs> that might be why she might want to cut out with that because she's finding out about herself and Harry. And she likes to view herself and think that she can be that balanced individual getting whatever she wants. And more than likely, she's landing on herself and it's causing her pain and suffering. What have I done because there's too much stuff on me? And I don't like it because they're painting me as a bad seed. And I'm miserable here and it's ongoing. More than likely, it's all about her. Let's go into the outside influences. Because the royal family is a royal family. <clears throat> and she had quite the lifestyle prior to. <laughs> so, yeah, we know about that private lifestyle, Megan. The French escort, the yachting, the Soho house ho. Yeah, we know all about that. You're a working girl. Here we go. Outside influences. So she's finding out about herself. That's got to be quite um, emotionally triggering. Okay, I can't handle this anymore. I gotta, mm, I, I'm a bad seed. Oh, God, I don't want to look at that. Oh, I want to see myself as so perfect and angelic, and, and, and I'm so blessed. No, you're not. She wants to take down the blessed couple is what she wants to do. <laughs> outside influences. Outside influences with the dark web. Yeah, the dark web, it's turning into an absolute scorched earth extreme oppression oppression and she's having to face what she's trying to avoid so i would say that's about herself and it's greed and envy and uh having to rebrand herself isn't likely uh because this is trying to rebuild and you're not able to and it's it's total scorched earth it is it, she's never going to rebuild with the family and if she did do it it's not going to help her anyways because they're lawyered up and they're cutting her out anyways so whatever she does you could do whatever you want, but it's not going to happen. So that's a no, and that's a no. You're under extreme oppression, Megan, but uh, they've already cut you out. You're free. You're free to go. You're never going to get back. You're trying to create ongoing emotional negative issues because you're miserable, but it doesn't matter what you do because we really don't care what you do. So this is total indifference. And basically, there we go. The unaliving card. 
uh, the hopes and fears. Yeah. So I think she's seeing stuff about herself. She would also like to do it to hope that um, it would be uh, like a death call to Catherine. Uh, that uh, basically with the Knight of Swords in reverse, it'd be such bad news. She wants to deliver bad news, really bad news. She wants to deliver horrible news. It's basically like a war position card and going on the attack. She wants to attack her to the point that uh, Catherine would, wouldn't want to be around anymore. And it's a very inconsiderate person, but it's also a position of probably most likely full stop and battle fatigue, a very dangerous person to avoid. There's no way she's getting back. She can pull whatever stunt she wants. It's not going to work. And she knows it's not going to work. And it's full stop. So that's why the royal families can say full stop to her. So it's full stop to her. I think she's really seeing stuff about herself. And she's trying to find secrets. She's trying to find the hidden secrets of her medical, uh, medical information with the high priestess. But it's a secret. The secret hasn't gotten out. She cannot get the secret. It'd need to be in reverse because that's where the antisocial, repressed individual, dark person to avoid who's toxic is going to reveal the secrets to help herself and act like, you know, she, she's connected. She's not connected because you're out. You cannot get that information, nor can she get it on the dark web. She's hoping, she was hoping she can get the secret with the seven of swords in reverse, but uh, excuse me, Oop, the secret, that was upright. So the high priestess is upright. She was hoping to get it so she can reveal the secret. She was sneaking around, hoping nobody would be noticing that it's her on the web. So she's probably implementing other people to do it for her so she looks clean and keeps her hands clean and reveal the secret. I'm so perfect and innocent. Will you tell me, find the secrets and I'll reveal them. And basically it's mental illness. Yeah, there we go. Psychosis. I was talking about psychosis is, is a way to... Uh, uh, repair her mortification and her narcissistic wound injury that the secret's still in place. So what does she do? She goes into psychosis and uh, basically she wants to reveal the secret. She goes into psychosis. She tries to lie, reveal the secrets, but it's not happening. And she wants to reveal the secret. She wants everything to come out with the moon. She wants to risk everything to release the secrets. But really all she's actually doing is, you know, screwing herself you know uh she has to discover the positives about herself but she's not going to be able to so the secret she wants out not going to happen it just it's exposing herself really for what she is which is basically i'm sick i'm mentally sick i'm going into psychosis i'm going to find something else good about myself truth about myself really she's finding out stuff about herself that she wants to keep a secret so this is sort of that projection uh she's also got issues with confusion the moon is mental confusion and it gives her some clarity that moon in reverse gives her some clarity she really was hoping for clarity with the secrets and revealing all of it but she can't it's just no 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 it's not happening the high priestess is a maybe position this was a maybe in the upright but becomes no but there's a lot of no's here but wow did she want to she absolutely wanted to find it and i really feel with this being a covert narcissist card, she was trying to steal the information. Seven of Swords is this thief. She was trying to steal something, and she was barely putting in effort. So she, once again, she's lazy, just like she is with her companies. Everyone else has to do the work for her, and then she gets to look like the person who's doing it. Or actually, she probably didn't want to. She wants to keep her hands clean. But basically, uh, the truth, she wanted to get the truth to come out. What is it? But she has to drop it. She has to drop it. It's not going to happen because it is a seven in reverse. The challenging test failed because seven upright is, I'm, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to test out the dark web. Let's see if I can get what I want so I can reveal it. But you know, it's a no, it's, it's pretty much all no across the table. And in the center of the deck is she was hoping to glow up buy it and make her feel special and important and heal herself because this is a way to heal her by hurting hurting and destroying others is very self-soothing and healing to megan uh that is her warped mindset and she was hoping it would heal her with the star energy star upright is getting some tranquility it would calm her down but she's not getting it it's a no card it's arrogance She's a sick person. Once again, another sick, dark person that's very depressive and dark that will never heal. So she's feeling shame 
and she wants to feel that shame avoidance because she's not the star. Catherine's the star. Catherine's got, the, she's, a, she's afraid that Catherine's going to heal. She wants to reveal information that she's so sick she'll never heal. That's what she's hoping for. She'll, she's so sick she'll never heal and she's got to stay at home attempting to heal. Uh, a sick, sick Catherine is what she's hoping for. But really, it's Megan. Megan's the one who's doing it for shame avoidance. To heal herself because she can never get back. She's been cut out. She's trying to study it. And she's a very dark, dark person to avoid. A very psychotic, sick person. A very covert narcissist. A very person who, who is overindulgence of alcohol, booze. She does it when she's high as a kite. And in her mind, I feel she's got to go after the balanced, happy couple. And uh, she can act it out. She thinks we'll all pretend and act it out, even if it's not true with the magician. But really, she is all about, she's in deep pain and suffering. This is like the mortification of the narcissist who knows everything's coming out about her. All her fantasies and illusions and lies are coming out, which is putting Markle into a very narc collapse, unaliving position. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm so jealous. I'm so envious. I can never rebuild myself. I want to unalive myself and execute myself. Total projection of the narcissist. And um, this is a shame avoidance strategy, as they always do. So hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.